Hey, people. <laughs> All about dog people. Trying to get this dog right. I can teach y'all something. You know what I'm saying? A little something, something. Stay tuned. <laughs> Trying to get this book in his little circles here. He has to like Google how to draw a stick bigger dog. <laughs> uh huh. Stay tuned. It's people. working though. Look, I'm about to teach y'all something. It's going to be good. With Fitbully TV people, hopefully you like my dog. I could do better. I could do better. Now, uh, a friend of mine called and asked a very, very good question. And unfortunately, she got put in a pretty unique situation and not the best. But I'm doing this because it sounds like there are other dogs out there that are suffering as well. When I say suffering, if ever you find a dog that has been starved, starved, seeing bones, um, it doesn't have the calories it needs. It's been left alone. It's been abandoned. From my understanding, there have unfortunately been cases of bullies being left in bad environments, abandoned, starved, uh, basically abused. So she said, "Hey, Trip, what should I, uh, what should I give him? What are some things that I should should do?" And I said, "Whatever you do." Don't go back to heavy meats. She says small, small meals throughout the day. I said, absolutely. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you get into a state of starvation, the body does not going to read nutrition. It's going to read substance and just calories. We just need food. So if you put in bad food, what ends up happening? The dog is going to have blowouts. It's going to struggle. A lot of the vomit and um, basically ruin your house if you're the one nursing that dog back to life. So don't go and do a bunch of organs. No, no organ meat objectively at first. Because the organs have been stressed. So key to really building the dog's gut back up and making sure that it has the nutrients it needs is fiber. Two things that are fibrous, probiotic, prebiotic, is definitely pumpkin. I would start with chicken legs, chicken wings, those are some of my favorites, and blueberries, and I, the dog is probably gonna enjoy them frozen. And that's just to get the dog back into its groove. When wolves have not eaten in a couple weeks, they will go back to old carcasses because bones provide satiety. Satiety is this. I'm drinking some Coke right now. I haven't had much to eat. Matter of fact, I haven't had anything to eat but a cup of uh, coffee earlier. So when you drink coffee, well, let's say you get real hungry, you drink a cup of milk, all of a sudden you feel a little less hungry, right? All the little acid and coke and pop, we call it pop, y'all soda people, whatever it is, I'll say pop in Kansas City. When we drink pop and we get uh, satiated, it's because of the sugar and that little pop, 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 that carbonation. It fills your stomach up with air so you feel a little bit relief, right? Don't mean you're not hungry because if somebody was cooking some chicken right now, I could eat a meal. The point is this, when the dog has been starving, you build its gut up and its diet back slowly but surely by adding what? Definitely want to make sure the, the meal is rooted in fiber. If you're using raw, I would use chicken legs or chicken wings. Make sure that there's pumpkin in there. Why? Because pumpkin has one of the most important vitamins, A. You remember when we was kids and they don't say it anymore, it's crazy, I don't hear it anymore. But an apple a day keeps the doctor away and technically a green apple is better than a red apple. Vitamin A literally helps with muscle skeletal system. It helps with the muscle skeletal system. And even more importantly, it helps boost, build, and sustain your immunity. And in this case, the dogs normally, if any dog has been starving or struggling, its immunity is going to be a little down. The organs are going to be a little little worked and stressed and, and, and not good. They're just not going to be good. So it's our job to slowly build them back up. So what does that meal look like? Again, I would do a chicken leg or chicken legs, depending on what size. I mean, you'd have to do the math on how many. Chicken legs, a can of pumpkin, and some uh, blueberries. That would, that would be the meal. So you can get a package of chicken legs. I just bought some from Costco for $9. What, six rolls, what, three rolls, six total, six rolls totals, four to five in each one. Pack of those chicken legs, a can of pumpkin over those chicken legs, get some blueberry, and that, in my opinion, 
just based on research and basic science, would help slowly but surely get the dog back. The beauty about the, the, the bones in this, and the chicken legs specifically, chicken legs have a good amount of bone, but they would be considered raw meat. If you go chicken thigh, a little more fat in there, and you want minimal to no fat. So this right here is a no. Minimal to no fat. And you say, well, fat's going to get the dog back. No, no, no. The dog needs to rebuild. So you want good, clean sources of protein with minimal fat in there so you can control the fat intake because too much fat, even with a healthy dog, causes what? Inflammation and irritation. And then there's blue outs all over the place. And if you don't believe me, give your dog about 25 squirts in their mouth of any salmon oil by itself or something that's super rich in fat. Matter of fact, give it a half a half a pound of Wagyu beef. You might, you'll learn something about your dog real quick. So at any who, guys, I hate that this is going on. I felt compelled to put a little bit of this out there. This is what I would do if someone dropped the dog off. I saw its bone, it was starving. It hadn't had enough meals or any meals or barely any, like no food and no sustenance. I would start with some chicken legs. I'd give it one, see how it does. And you give it two and you give it another one throughout the day. And then you turn around and say, you know what, now I'm going to give them a chicken leg, a can of pumpkin, and some blueberries. And of course, a little water on top of it. And then eventually, once we get through week two, I would then add some beef bone broth and all those other things that are on Pet Achievers Club if you're interested in getting a class on how to feed your dog nutritiously. Or, you know, what I would feed the dog, to say the least. And then uh, my dog tools is where we have a lot of guides still for those that are interested in those. And again... I'm learning a lot about nutrition. We're learning things every day. We got more work to do. Stay tuned, take care of your dogs. If you're dealing with a starving dog or you take on a dog that hasn't had its meals regulated or a consistency in their meal, meals to say the least, God bless you for one. You know, and, and I do hope that dog turns out okay. But you wanna get that dog's stomach regulated quick. And I do mean quick, fast, and in a hurry. And you wanna do that by making sure you don't cause any more stress on the stomach, okay? Stay tuned, take care of your dogs, people.